Hi friends, uh, today I am going to download the new AnyPoint Studio 7 Mule 4 uh, from the site and uh, I will write a small application to show how to get started. So you need to go to mulesoft.com site and you can uh, you can go to studio from product studio you will come up this one and then once you click download you can download a 30 day trial. So this MuleSoft any point or uh, any point seven I is a bit different from the previous versions and there are a lot of change have been done and it is not compatible with the previous uh, Mule Mule uh, thing runtime. So even if you try to install it, uh, it will not work. It will not show up. So there is quite you no know, significant change in the architecture of uh, the new Mule runtime. So it's kind of like you are new starting uh, to learn the mule from scratch. So, but most of the things like connectors and everything is same. Uh, very fair amount of uh, documentation there on the site. So, a uh, couple of changes like you know they there's no more uh, dev kit is there for extending. You can you have to use MuleSoft uh, Mule SDK and. Uh, so once you download it, uh, you need to go, you need to open it, you need to click any point studio here. So let me open it. So in the meantime it will open. So I am using, I am right now uh, working on Ubuntu uh, operating system which is Linux. So for the user uh, who are using uh, Windows 1 might face problem, uh, it will show that uh, you don't have JDK 8 on your installed Linux system. So for that, uh, all you need to open any point studio INI and make a small change here. So you need to go and uh, you can use like you have to use VM space. Sorry, it's not here. This is not here. VM, and then you need to give the path of your uh, JDK so you need to have not JVM it's a JDK 8 so you need to give the path of JDK and it will work so I don't need to make a change here so I'm just closing it without making any change so it will open like this from outline it looks like the same but uh, there are some changes so before I start you can see what are the new changes in the system so it will open up and it will show you what are the changes so you can see what is new in uh, in 7 so you can see connectors there and the easy way to go to the XML so now you don't need to go and click the XML one uh, simplified experience uh, logging to any point platform and then you have collapsible you can collapse your diagrams and uh, so you can see all the new things that is with the new uh, any point 7 uh, you'll feel very good uh, if you use that. Let me close it. So let's go to the workspace. If you click it here, you will go to workspace. And let me try to write a small, uh, very small program to just hit a URL and uh, get back. So. and you don't need to click anything else everything is as it is go to click finish so we are using enterprise so right now you don't have option to check or check in or check out for maven maven you have maven is by default uh, behind this every project so it's taking some time it's opening now it's it's kind of almost like the previous one so it will open you can see but you can see significant difference in the palette itself so here you have favorites there and 
some core so we don't have all your uh, you know mule connectors and everything in the project but you can add it what for whatever project you are working on so every project may have some different requirements so based on requirement you can add it in a favorite so once you open it you will not have to go through all the connectors you can very well search here like if i go ftp sorry ftp so you can get it all all this from you you need to search it you can very well easily search and now you can see like here so let me add one listener here so i will go and add it here so previously we used to have http now it's little different the images are different which is looking quite cool and also you can you know to like this so it will shrink so it will if your graph is very big so it will be easier for navigation so let me open it click add now previously we used to have default values so now we have to manually give value here so 0.0.0 and give 82 you can provide base path if you want otherwise you are good and you have to but you have to provide the base path here so i will give first step and it should resolve all the issues then I need to go for set payload so I will go from here and just move it here sometimes I find that it is not easy easily draggable but after that it works so let me get some value here mm -hmm. I'll give just a static so my first input four point seven. you can also see a very well see that your input so we have only input and output and we have payload and attributes all the attributes are now this is a different than previously previously we used to have a couple of options here but we only have one so there are some changes significant change that you can see so let me run this application from here you can go to xml as well this is something new this cool feature and let me start my first application so you can see maven as by default you can see a lot of you know, information regarding maven so it's starting the message is different you can definitely not find it's both are same from the previous version so it's different So it is almost started. When I started, so I now need to go to some desk line. So I am going to use what is that? Let me see. Nope. Yeah. I believe first step. And you can see we got our first application running so thank you for watching